Hi, welcome back to Creative Bursts. I'm Sarah Webb, children's writer and creative writing teacher. This week's theme is adventure, travel and exploration. And today we'll be talking about dragonflies. <laughs> so we were talking before about Cynthia Longfield, Madame Dragonfly, this incredible woman here. And we are going to write some poems uh, inspired by Cynthia's life and inspired by exploration. So first of all, a short dragonfly poem. We don't know who wrote this one. It's anonymous, uh, but it's one of my favourites. It's really, really short and it goes like this. I wish I was a dragonfly. Hallelujah in sunbeam. <laughs> so Madame Dragonfly spent her whole life researching, exploring and discovering new insects. I'll read you some of, about her life. In 1924, she travelled to the Pacific Islands on an 18 month, 300,000 mile trip, rechasing, retracing Charles Darwin's expedition on the Eagle. Darwin, of course, is famous for his work on the theory of evolution. Cynthia's sailing experience came in handy when they hit storms near Panama. Over her long career as an insect expert, she travelled, and often alone, to Southeast Asia, to Egypt, to Canada and across Africa. She went by boat, she went by rail, she went by road, she went by dirt track, she went by canoe, she hacked her way through jungles with a machete. Later in her life, she became known as Madame Dragonfly. She continued studying insects until her death at the age of 94, and she's buried in Cloyne. Amazing, amazing woman. So, the first thing I would like you to do is to imagine that you are in a jungle. Now, there's a very famous book uh, by Ruard Kipling called The Jungle Book, and it's in this collection, which is the Puffin Collection, uh, Treasury Classics. And in the Jungle Book, uh, Kipling writes about uh, Mowgli and the animals. I read you a very, very short extract. An Indian grazing ground is all rocks and scrub and tussocks and little ravines, among which the herds scatter and disappear. The buffaloes generally keep to the pools and muddy places where they lie wallowing or basking in the warm mud for hours. Mowgli drove them onto the edge of the plain where the Wainguga River came out of the jungle. There he dropped from Rama's neck, trotted off to a bamboo clump and found Grey Brother. Ah, said Grey Brother, I've waited here very many days. What is the meaning of this cattle herding work? It is an order, said Mowgli. I'm, I am a village herd for a while. What news of sheer Khan? So I want you to imagine that you are in a jungle like Madame the Butterfly. What do you see? What do you hear? What kind of animals do you encounter? Do you discover a new insect? <laughs> During her life, um, Madame Butterfly, uh, Dragonfly discovered many new insects and some of them are named in her honour. So, do you discover a new insect or a new animal? Is it named in your honour? <laughs> you get writing now and um, as before you can pause the video now and go off and do a little bit of writing or you can continue on listening so the second thing I'd like you to do is to write a poem or a haiku about a dragonfly we did this before actually about cherry blossom so a haiku has the first line five syllables the second line seven syllables and the third line, five syllables again. And a syllable is a vowel noise. So Sarah, Sarah has two syllables. I teach often by the way you drop your chin is a syllable. So Sarah Webb. <laughs> um, I'm going to read you a very short poem by Elna Fargin. And then I'm going to read you a dragonfly haiku. And then you can go off and write your own. So this is a dragonfly by Elna Fargin. When the heat of the summer made drowsy the land, a dragonfly came and sat 
on my hand. With its blue jointed body and wings like spun glass, it lit on my fingers as though they were grass. So this is a very, very short, well, haikus are short, they're three lines. So this is a haiku I wrote um, about dragonflies. Shimmering green wings, darting in the summer sky, a flash of heaven. So that has the five syllables, the seven syllables, the five syllables. Now you try writing your own haiku. And the third thing I'd like you to do is to research and draw a dragonfly. So in this book, which is called The Animal Book, there is a fantastic emperor dragonfly. This fellow here is amazing. And he is... So dragonflies, as I found out from my book, have four wings. They can fly at up to 48 kilometres an hour, pretty fast. And they can also fly backwards, which I found really interesting. So now get researching, get drawing and get writing about dragonflies. Thank you for joining me for today's Creative Bursts. And remember what Einstein said, creativity is intelligence having